What's going on everybody? Jump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. As you can see, I did a little bit of organizing and cleaning. I got my box wall up here in the garage from down in the studio because I'm actually disassembling that studio as we speak. So yeah, that's uh, been quite the project the past two days. But now purpose of this video, we just got a new delivery. Gold Shell Mini Doge has just showed up. I cannot wait to see what this thing looks like. I did take it out of the original box it came in only because I wanted to make sure this is what it was. This one right here is still factory sealed as you can see, has not been cut open. But this one right here has been cut open, I assume from customs because it came from China so it had to clear. So let's, uh, yeah, let's see what she looks like. Little pamphlet, mostly in Chinese, says gold shell. And there it is. So this is the Halloween edition. As you can see, it's got the little witch hat. That's kind of funny. Look at that. That's awesome. Man, this thing is so small. Apparently this thing is RGB and everything else. So we're gonna find out. It is just a six pin connector and an ethernet cable. I am seriously shocked at how small this thing is. Amazing. All right, what else is in here? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> Look at this thing. The smallest antenna on the planet. What is that for? Why is there an antenna? Unless this thing has Wi-Fi and you put this on and that's Wi-Fi. Interesting. Huh, I'm kind of excited. All right, so here we are inside the PC. This is the site that I actually got the gold shell from for uh, I believe $6.99 a piece. What you're going to do next is come to this. It's called Advanced IP Scanner. So it will scan your entire network in the matter of seconds. What you're gonna do is choose free download. It's gonna do its thing down on the bottom left. Once it's done, you're gonna open it up. You're gonna proceed with the download, choose okay for English or whatever your language is. Then you're gonna click install. We're gonna click I accept and install again. You're going to allow it to make changes on your device and just give it a minute, let it do its thing. We're gonna choose finish and run IP scanner. All right, so now this is what it looks like when it's open. I'm just gonna minimize this. All right, so as you can see, I have a 1200 watt P2 PSU over here. Not that I need this at all. It's literally only gonna pull like 200 and something watts. This has an option to purchase a 300 watt PSU and it literally costs $100. I have plenty of these kicking around. I could also run multiple of these off of this as long as I have a 24 pin jumper cap. It works just fine. So. What I'm going to do is fire this thing up. I have an ethernet cable plugged into the back. I'm literally slinging the ethernet through my house to here because I don't have a hard line in this garage yet. And I have an extension cord all the way over <laughs> to there. So I am just uh, gonna set this up and I'm hopefully going to be able to connect this to Wi-Fi. So let's get back into the computer and let's check out the IP scan. So what do you say, let's turn this thing on. All right, so now that we're all plugged in, as you guys just saw, turned on, let's scan for the IP address. So now this is basically gonna list every little thing on your network in your house. It's gonna pick up my HNT miner, all my fire sticks, my Apple TV, literally my robot vacuums, the cameras in my house. It's gonna pick up everything. But what we're looking for is little drop downs on the left hand side. So we need to find all right, so right here, you can see Shanghai. We're gonna drop down that and we're gonna choose Cloudbox. So now you're gonna right click it and open it up. All right, so once you open it up, this is what you're gonna see, a whole bunch of Chinese and you're not gonna be able to read it. Top right hand side, click English. So you can actually translate everything and see what the heck's going on. So, as you can see, we're in the miner. We can see the model, Gold Shell Mini Doge. Firmware version 2.1.3, hardware version 4010SA. All right, I have no idea what I'm looking at. I need to figure this out, so let's go to system, I guess. Once you're in system, you can see that this does accept Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna connect this to my network right now. All right, so I'm actually successfully connected to Wi-Fi. This was one of my biggest things. I wanted to make sure that it connected and that it could accept Wi-Fi, so I'm pumped about that. Now let's go uh, back to the homepage quick. As you can see right here, this thing is working. It's alive and on, but right now it's just mining to somebody else's wallet, I assume. This thing is doing the around 180 mega hashes that it's supposed to. 
So let's choose on unlock. Purpose of unlocking it is to basically change the directory of the miner. So your username to start is gonna be admin. And then as soon as you click on this, it pops up and shows you the initial password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're gonna have to type that in and obviously you're gonna to wanna to change this at a later date. So we're gonna type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we choose unlock. You're gonna get this pop up. We're just gonna choose close, never. And then we're going to choose minor. So now once we're inside the minor, you can see right here we have SH minor, and then it gives you like the stratum and all that stuff. So we obviously need to add the one that we wanna use that is tied to our wallet. So I'm gonna try to use F2 pool because I heard that's the best one. So what you're gonna do is just click add up here on the top right, then you're gonna choose the pool that you wanna use. F2 pool, so it's ltcf2pool.com, miner name and password. So this is obviously I need to go to F2 pool and actually make an account. And then I'm going to upload this and it should show right here. So give me All right, so we're gonna jump over here to F2 pool. We have to make an account. So I'm just gonna choose create account. I will leave a link in the description below to this and a wallet also. Trust wallet, Exodus, Zellcore. There's a whole bunch of wallets. I will leave links to all of them down below. All right, so right here, we're gonna create a username. Trump change XD, it can't have any capitals. Contact at trumpchangexd.com is my official email if you guys are wondering. And now I'm gonna put in a password. So once it sends you the activation email, it's gonna say you're all set and you're gonna to have to log in again. So contact at trumpchangexd.com gonna ask you to put in your phone number. You can either skip it or use it. It's gonna then ask you for a verification code. All right, so now that you went through that, adding everything, I guess you're gonna come up here to the right and we're going to change this to LTC. Then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna to go to workers. Then we're gonna choose your login name and you're gonna to go to account settings. So then we're gonna to go to payout settings right here. We're going to add our LTC address and we're going to add our Doge address. So basically if you're mining LTC, you're going to receive Doge as a reward. All right, so let me bomb my addresses in here. All right, we're gonna to go to add LTC address, payout address. I'm gonna put trust wallet because that's the wallet I'm using. I'm not gonna sync this uh, LTC payout address with mining accounts. I don't even know what that means to be honest. So I'm just going to skip it. Oh, and because I added my phone number, it needs to send me a text message before I can change the wallet address. So that's kind of nice. Let me throw that in. All right, so once you add the wallet, it's gonna say, please check the email sent to you and click the confirmation link in the email to activate your new address within 24 hours. Payouts will be paused until activation. So I suggest you just go right to your email and click the confirmation link, that way it's all set. Once you do that, you can refresh the page. You can go back to payout settings and you can see that red thing is gone. Now what we're gonna do is go down here and add our Doge address. Same thing, gonna pump in the address here. Gonna put trust wallet, not gonna do this. I'm gonna click send two-step verification code and then I'm going to click okay. Again, it's gonna say your address change has not been activated. So you gotta activate the email, go back to your email and rinse and repeat. All right, this takes a while and sometimes when you're doing things back to back, the email doesn't come through right away. So you might have to wait for it. Just give it a second, it'll eventually get there or you can choose resend email. All right, once you accept it, you're gonna refresh the page and I'm not gonna lie, that email took forever to get to my inbox. So you're just gonna to have to be patient, unfortunately. All right, so I think that's it. So now that we have this all set, so now we're gonna come back to here where the pool settings are. We're going to add F2 pool. And what we're gonna do is type in our miner name, which is our account name, and then your password. So now that stratum is actually put in here. What we're going to do is grab the shovel and you're going to drag it up to the top. And now that is going to be the primary miner. As you can see, it's got a green shovel now. This one's grayed out. You are now on F2 pool.
And one quick thing, I do recommend turning on two-step verification for basically anything that you do that has to do with crypto mining. Just be safe, please do it. All right, so once you're done adding your wallet and stuff and you get the new pool set over here on your uh, gold shell mini doge, as you can see, the miner drops off a cliff and then it picks right back up onto the new pool. So why don't we go back to F2 pool and we can come over here and click on workers. Now this basically shows us our one worker online doing 78.47 mega hashes, hash rate of last 24 hours. As you can see, I just hooked this up, so it's absolutely spiked. I'm sure we're gonna see a whole bunch of bouncing around fluctuation right here in the days and minutes to come, but I'm obviously gonna do an update on this a little later. I'll keep note of it that I started this today and we will probably check the profitability in about a month. And here we are, all up and running. As you can see right there, 180.11 mega hash that is at the pool side. I am beyond pumped. I literally love this thing. It is so small. It just blows my mind. And it's like wicked pretty for a little like ASIC. The thing's quiet as hell. And actually it's Wi-Fi. So you know what? I want to disconnect this thing and see if the Wi-Fi picks up. All right, so ethernet's unplugged. The miner still feels like it's on. It's nice and toasty. It's really not hot, but it's like a, it's like a low powered hair dryer, I guess. It's warm, but it's not hot. In the actual pool, it says that we're still mining 179 mega hashes, but the software that comes on this to like jump in with the IP address, you can't load that screen, or for me, it won't load at least. But I'm gonna plug in the ethernet cable one more time because I wanna get into the dashboard and show you guys just a few other things. All right, so she's all plugged back in and we are back in the uh, Gold Shell homepage, basically inside the software of the miner. Let's go over here and go to miner. So right here where it says hash rate mode, you can click that drop down. You can go to balance mode or low power mode. These are uh, obviously lower power settings, but you're going to gain less while you're mining. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna keep mine at hash rate mode because I'm not really as concerned about the power as I am about getting the coin. So I'm gonna just keep it at hash rate, but you guys can go to low power. A lot of people like to do that. A Little less on your payment, but you're saving in electricity too. So it's just gonna be a slower ROI. That's just my opinion. And you can come down here. This is the uh, algorithm settings, but that's like in the F2 pool, so you don't have to touch it. Colorful loop mode. You can literally change all the colors on this uh, ASIC. It is actually pretty neat. I was uh, just messing around with it. Then they have the fan speed right here, which is pretty cool. So you guys can check all that out. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. This thing is all set. It's mining away again on Wi-Fi. I cannot access the actual software with the Wi-Fi on and the ethernet unplugged, but I mean, I'm all set. The only thing I need to do is now set up the wipes with her when she's ready. If you wanna get your hands on one of these, goldshell.com, $6.99 for this unit without a PSU like I got, cause I already have extra PSUs. It's $7.99 with the PSU. If you guys go to like any other website, literally these things are like $1,000 plus. So I definitely recommend going directly to Gold Shell. Just my opinion, not financial advice but they do drop these things like once every so often and when they do, they're gone in a second. So if you want one, you gotta pay attention, subscribe to their newsletter and you might get a chance to grab one. Oh, and real quick, I was wrong. When you unplug the ethernet cable, if you're already in the dashboard, you can still change the color of the lights and adjust things inside the dashboard on Wi-Fi. So that's super exciting. I didn't know that prior to hooking it up the second time. I don't know what changed, but when I unplugged it this time, this thing still works. I can literally change the lights, as you can see, check it out, and it changes immediately. Literally, I couldn't believe that that actually still worked. So, super pumped about that. Hopefully, this helps you guys set up yours, and I hope you appreciate the content. If you did, please don't forget, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.